Today we're enjoying the green pastures of Vancouver's Queen Elizabeth Park and we're going to visit something that only comes along once a decade. Ooh, yeah, if you saw my recent vlog on time capsules buried around town, you'll remember the park's Centuries Rock, a copper box buried in 1954 to be opened in 2054. I wonder what's in there. They have a great frisbee golf course here. Last time I played, I accidentally tossed my disc into a tree. I had to call the branch manager. Yeah, let's see here. Ooh, ooh, this giant clock indicates that I'm running late. I'd better ask for directions. Oh, here's a nice man. Excuse me, do you know which way to the conservatory? Ooh, it, it's a fellow YouTube vlogger. Ooh, am I in your way, sir? Ooh, uh, sorry about that. This way? No. All right, we found the iconic conservatory here, and we're going inside to experience the most putrid, the most vile, the most offensive thing whatever lived. The Amorphophallus titanium is better known as the corpse flower. We're going inside to visit the monster that locals here call Uncle Fester. Apparently, the corpse flower is unpredictable and very rare. Most years, the tropical plant produces only a leaf. But this year, Uncle Fester is a bloomin' and a stinkin'. So many people want to check out Uncle Fester that our reservation is only good for 20 minutes inside the conservatory here. And it's a real nice place. Lots of intelligent, exotic birds. In fact, we may need to ask for directions. Here's a nice looking birdie. Chickadee, I think. Excuse me, my friend. Do you know which way to the Uncle Fester, the stinky corpse flower? It, it, over this way? No, this way. Thank you, my feathered friend. Nice guy. All right, we got a big crowd here, and I think, yep, there he is. Uncle Fester. Incredible. Whew, jeez. Much bigger than I expected, too. Judging by the giant ruler beside him, I'd say he's about, oh, six or seven feet tall. Apparently, that giant spike in the middle there emerges and gets wrapped in that frilly leaf called a spathe. And when the spathe unfolds like that, it releases scent molecules, inviting beetles, flies, and YouTube vloggers for fertilization. The flower wilts just one day after opening before descending into dormancy again. So this is a pretty rare event. All right, I'm going to take off my COVID mask here and get up close and see if he really does stink bad. Let's see here. Well, that's a perfectly normal smelling flower. Mm. <clears throat> Interesting texture. <clears throat> it's a natural aroma. Nature's gift. Ah! Ow. 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 It, it smells like a hot, sick ass on a dead carcass. Thank you for watching this little taste of Vancouver. Please tap that good subscribe button one time. My thanks to Bev Sugarman for makeup and Jewel Hailmere for wardrobe. I'm Jean-Claude Vancouver and until next time, be good to the other. Jeez, first I get blasted with Uncle Fester's pungent stink. Now I'm getting splattered by this fountain. Hey! Hey! Somebody want to turn this off? Thank you.